Hello and welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. Really exciting day. We are going to be taking most of your AWOL from Livorno here in Italy. And we're going to be meeting two tugboats amongst uh, a team of, uh, sorry, a group of electricians and um, shipyard workers. They're going to come on board. They're going to dismantle uh, parts of the radar mast and we're going to be towed from the coast up a very narrow channel to the shipyard in Pisa. So we're going inland. So I'm going to show you guys the entire process that we're going to go through from attaching the tow lines to removing the mast to the process of getting to the, to the canal the process of finally attaching to the two tugboats. So we have one tugboat forward and one tugboat aft. Uh, the reason we're using tugboats is because the water we're gonna go up, so the canal is very, very shallow. So if we're running our engines, what's gonna happen is that the, the seabed in the canal, the canal bed better said, is, is muddy. So what would happen is with our props, we'll churn up all the mud and then we'll suck it through our seawater intakes blocking the intakes, therefore the engines can't call, the generators can't call, and then you know just causing big problems. So this is why we're using the two tugboats. So very, I'm very excited to, to do this because it's the first time that I'm doing this up a narrow canal with, with two tugboats, and really excited to share the experience with you guys, and I really hope you enjoy this video. So Jason, what's your job in the, um, when the tugboat comes, and uh, how will you prepare for I'm just going to have all lines and shackles and whatever we need when they, for whatever they ask for. Have you done a kind of uh, towing no. like this before? No, no, uh, no type operations. Alright. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> We've got David in the chase boat following us over here. Right, so we are now under tow. Uh, our two main engines, port and starboard, are now switched off. We still have our steering engaged. We've stopped the air conditioning and we've just left the generator running and we have also the bow thruster on standby just in case. We've got a little bit of a breeze coming down the canal, um, but uh, we've got one tugboat on the stern, one on the bow. And you can see here, looking how nicely we're doing about three knots up the canal here. Much of a breeze as the weather forecast indicated. Um, so yeah, exciting stuff. It'll be quite a long journey. I think it's gonna be a couple of hours. And the uh, guys at the moment they're just adjusting the lines on the bow for the for the tugboat. How are you finding it, Jovanator? It's 
cool experience, something a little different. Yeah. And got some good footage as well. How's it looking on the stern? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> not quite the tug I was hoping for, but... Uh... <laughs> you see what we did there? So while, actually, while we're here, I want to show you how they've tied off the, the boat. It's not how I would have done it, but it's uh, the, the tugboat team came on board and it's how they wanted to do it. So they have more experience than I do in, in towing, so I'll lead them to it. So you can see what they've done. The orange line is theirs. Done figure of eight around there. And the next one, another figure of eight to create like a V over the side. You can see two lines. So two lines there. This, which are connected to the center of the tugboat. And then what we'll do, we'll make our way aft and show you how they've connected the aft tugboat or the lines there. So you see they've got a line here on the bollard as well, which is connected to, to, the, to the tugboat. And then another line on the port bollard, port stern bollard as well. Makes it there. And they're just in case uh, the swing, the story, the stern starts to swing so they can straighten the, the stern out. But mostly they're just getting towed along as well nicely. It's actually the tugboat on the bow, so for obvious reasons, doing most of the work. Right guys, as you actually see from the drone footage that I'm just showing you, you can see actually the mud that even the tugboats are churning up. So you imagine our intakes being a lot further down, probably another two meters, that if we were running the engines, they'll be clogged up in no time at all. So I've got Jason's on the, in the wheelhouse. He's controlling the bow thruster just to assist the tugboat a little bit uh, up the canal so we remain on a straight line in the center of, of the channel. And then what's happening, we've got guys who are working on the, on the radar mast up there, you might be able to see. Um, so they've got their harnesses on, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the radar mast in order to get under the next bridge. So it's gonna take us a full day to get from Livorno on the coast to Pisa, to the shipyard to where we're going. Uh, the guys are working there nicely. It's a nice, beautiful, calm day so that we can ask for better weather. The sun's out, and uh, for us, it's, it's new, I've never, had this done before. I've been under tow before, but uh, never two tugboats fore and aft going up a canal that's uh, a little bit shallow, but we've got a little bit of clearance underneath, maybe half a meter clearance underneath. So uh, we should be fine. And then um, late this afternoon, we'll be arriving at the, at the shipyard. And then we'll end the video later this afternoon. And then the next video will be us being hauled out of the water in the travel lift and then stowed in a big hangar for, for the winter. So we've just stopped and we've tied alongside uh, in front of a bridge. What's going to happen, we've met with the crane. What they're going to do, they're going to lift off the, the radar mast. So I'm going to show you guys, give you guys a better understanding of what's going on. What they're going to do is then hook on the radar mast and remove the radar mast. You can see right in front of us, we've got a bridge. So what's going to happen, once the radar mast is off, we're ready to go. They'll lift the bridge up and then we'll continue up the, up the canal. you guys a better view of what's going on the other side of the canal and we also got David who's tied alongside on our port side with the chase boat he's tied alongside there how was it David uh, 
Uh, it was, uh, was slow, but nice. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. It's, well, it's a long old canal. Yeah, it's a really long way. Yeah. Not even there yet. Yeah. No. How far are we from the, the place, actually? It's a very good question. We're going to check on the charts. Let's have a look. Alright. So we're going to, they're going to connect the belt to the radar mast and then they'll uh, crane off the mast and then the mast is going to go on this blue barge here and it's going to be tugged up the canal uh, behind us. No, sorry, correction. They'll tug us first and then come back and get the radar mast. Right, so the reason we removed the radar mast is because of this bridge that doesn't open. So this is the moment of truth now to work out if their calculations are correct or not. What do you reckon, Jace? Well, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Jace saying that on camera, but he's very skeptical. Huh? I think we'll be, we'll, we'll be okay. like a toyga to the shipyard. How much do you reckon that was? Half a meter? Uh, it's difficult because we're below. Yeah. Half a meter. Well, I'm sure Slav got some good footage. Yeah. Anyway, we're on our way to final straight now to the shipyard. Not long, not long now to go. Right, so we just arrived at the shipyards uh, here in Pisa. So it was a very interesting journey. So we finally arrived, total we left. We met the guys at 9.30, it's now 2.30. So quite a few hours to get here from Livorno. But as you can see, we're now in the shipyard in the uh, travel lift slot.
So what will happen now is tomorrow morning the divers will come to put all the blocks and all the belts in place for the travel lift and then we'll start getting lifted tomorrow afternoon. So I'll be blogging the whole process for you guys, uh, something very interesting for you to see. And I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Do consider subscribing to the channel because it really does help us to grow. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Do check out the merch shelf below because uh, we've got some great merchandise on sale at the moment. And I look forward to seeing you guys next video.